quite a large variety of breeds of cattle in Australia. Your northern types of cattle, you've got your Brahmins, um, Santa Gertrudis, those types of cattle, and then people tend to cross them with other breeds. Um, in southern Australia, you've got um, some of your older breeds, are your Herefords, um, then you've got Angus. Angus is quite a, um, a popular breed. Um, then you've got more um, what they call European type cattle, so you've got Simmental, Charolais, those types of things. Um, and here at Mayura, we've got Wagyu cattle, which are an Asian uh, breed of cattle. They actually originate from Japan. Uh, wa means Japanese or Japanese style, and Gyu actually means cattle. Um, and Wagyu um, were actually imported into Australia, uh, live cattle, full blood Wagyu. Um, were imported into Australia for the first time in 1998. So they're a, a breed which is focused on carcass quality and carcass traits. And in Asia, the thing that people want the most is high levels of fat contained within the muscle of a steak, which is called intramuscular fat, or as we know it, marbling. So marbling is uh, what we can see here. It's the nice street map of intramuscular uh, fat that runs between the muscle fibres and Wagyu itself is one of the only breeds in the world that really has this inherent marbling. When you're producing a, a carcass which has very high levels of marbling, it's important that the animals have a very high amount of um, energy in their rations. Um, they need a lot of simple carbohydrates, so to do that you use grain feeding. Another form of production is grass feeding, which is very traditional in southern Australia. Um, but it doesn't have the same level of energy requirements to produce that high level of marbling in beef. What we do is we raise the cattle on improved pastures, so that's more perennial type pastures, um, ryegrass, clovers, those types of um, varieties. Um, and once the cattle are about 10 to 12 months of age, they go into a grain feeding program where they prescribe how many kilos per head we feed our cattle every day, um, and that's delivered through a conveyor belt. Mayura, it's a vertically integrated operation, so um, not only do we breed all the cattle, but we grow our own grain and fodder as well. And then to manage that throughout the year, what we do is we take tissue samples of the pastures and we get those analysed, and also soil tests. And that helps you monitor the soil health. You send our cattle to an export abattoir um, where they're processed. Everything is then uh, supervised under AQUIS and packed for export. The majority of our product is exported, so mainly to Asia. Um, with the markets of Singapore, Hong Kong, uh, China is a very large market for us, uh, also the Philippines, um, and then Malaysia, and we do also supply product into the, Dubai as well. So there's a number of different options open to producers. Um, you can sell through the sale yards through an agent, you can sell direct to an abattoir through an agent, or you can sell direct to an abattoir as your own, being the vendor yourself. Um, we've chosen to take it one step further and brand and market our own product. Everything is sold in a Mayura box and every cryvac of meat has a Mayura um, meat insert inside. So when someone buys a product, it has the Mayura branding on it. Um, the reason we did that was because we had a vision of creating a, a product of very high quality and to do that we felt it was very important that um, we did that under our own brand um, and that way what you're doing is you're building a relationship with a, with a consumer and all the work that you're putting into producing a, a high quality brand then gets reflected back to that consumer um, and then if they want to buy it again they know who to buy it from and they know the consistency and you build brand loyalty with your customers.